This is a tutorial on how to add buttons to your Canvas homepage. So what you want to do first is actually create the buttons. I use Google Drawings. So I'll go ahead and show you how I created this. So first you want to just select a shape, whichever shape you think would make a good button. You can do a circle. I kind of like the circles. I've been using this one, so I'm just going to use the same thing to keep it consistent. You can fill in whatever color you want. I like to make the border kind of thick so the students know it's something that they should click on. And then go ahead and add a text box and then just label whatever this is going to be. And I like to have that center aligned vertically and horizontally. And then just pick whatever font you want and adjust the size and just kind of make it what you want. When you're done creating your button, you're going to click on file, go to download, and then download the ping image of that and then save it. Once you have that saved, you go to your canvas page where you want it to show up. This one doesn't have any buttons yet, so that's where I'm going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. If you're not sure how to get this page here, there's another video and I'll post a link to that in the description. So underneath here, I'm going to go ahead and insert a table because I want the buttons to be nice and lined up. So I'll put however many buttons I think I'm going to have. Maybe I'll have five or six. And then inside of each cell, that's where you're going to post each button. So here I'm going to embed an image, click on canvas, put it in my file so that the students can't see it. And then you'll go ahead and upload whatever you just saved that as. I'll just go ahead and use this other one that I made before. And if you want it to be square, you want to make the dimensions the same number. So I'll just change this quickly. So there's that button. Now, if you want it to actually link to something, my interactive notebook is going to be something that I'm using the collaborations for. So over here, you can link to anything inside of Canvas by just using these over here. You can also click this linked URL button up here and then type whatever website you want it to go to. But since mine's going to be inside of Canvas, I'm just going to go to the navigation, click on collaborations, and click save. Now here, if I don't change my table to be transparent, it's going to show up. So you're going to see these lines right now, which you don't want, right? We want to get rid of those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and edit and then just change the table. So if we just click on the table, go to properties for border, we'll call it zero alignment. Since my Bitmoji room is to the left, I'm just going to align it to the left. And then for border, I'm going to click Hidden. And if, you can also change your background color if you want to fill that in. So now you won't be able to see the table. Now it's just the button. And when they click here, it takes them to whatever you linked. 